is ghosting? Have you ever been ghosted before? Here's how to deal with it. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys back with me. And if this is your first time on my channel, then hit the subscribe button below to get notified when I make new posts. Okay, so I decided to start out a new series on my channel, which I am titling The Talk. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of like a platform for me to like talk about serious deals, like maybe serious things, maybe relationship talk or just regular things that happen in life, I guess. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm starting out with this first video and this video is titled Ghosting and how to deal with it, okay? So if you've ever been ghosted before or you want to know what ghosting is, then keep watching. First of all, we're going to start with defining what ghosting is so generally ghosting is more like a situation wherein someone you love or your friend or partner just completely ceases communication with you like every form of contact the person stops speaking your calls the person stops texting stops replying you and all of that stuff so it's usually happened like without warning you know the person just does it BAM and you don't know what's going on you have no clue you are like confused like okay I spoke to this person yesterday, so why is the person not picking my calls now? Or what's going on? So it leaves you asking yourself a lot of questions. And honestly, it is a very terrible situation. Honestly, like it leaves you feeling confused. You know, you're super confused because you don't know what's going on. The person didn't give you like any warning or clue as to say, oh, I don't like you anymore. So we can't be friends anymore or we can't be in this relationship anymore. No, there is no warning. So you're left in this state of okay what's going on i don't get it like and you start questioning yourself a lot of things go on in your head to be honest like it's it's not a funny thing okay like it's a very very serious deal one thing you should never do if you've ever been ghosted before is hating the person or holding a grudge against the person that's like the worst way to go about it honestly because the first step you're ever going to take to healing after being heartbroken or being hurt before is to let them off the hook to be honest like you have to let go you know and i feel like one way to do that is to first of all try to see things from their perspective you know you try to think okay why could this person have ghosted me why did this person do this was the person in a dark place at that time was the person going through some tough times because a lot of people are depressed and they're going through a lot of stress and they don't really know how to handle it so they just go ahead and do things that are like unthinkable right so you have to first of all try to see from the perspective it's one way i've discovered that actually helps you forgive a person when you try to see things from their perspective rather than feeling hurt or rather than thinking much more about how badly you've been hurt or how much you've been heartbroken or anything like that so that's like the first thing to do you must let them go another thing you should let go of is you should stop feeling dejected you have to let go of that feeling you have to let go of the hurts you have to let go of the pain you have to let go of every feeling of self loathe or worthlessness you should not feel that way because that's life for you because you can never really control how a person treats you you can never really control how you want a person to relate with you the only thing you can really do is to start loving yourself. You should love yourself because the best relationship you could ever have is the one you have with yourself. You should have conversations with yourself and say, okay, you know what? Yeah, this person is gone, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't stop me from making new friends. It doesn't stop me from meeting new people. It doesn't stop me from paying attention to those who are still in my life or those who still care about me, you know? It doesn't stop me from doing all of that. It doesn't stop me from being happy. It doesn't stop you from anything. So you just have to constantly remind yourself. I'm going to tell you this. It's hard. It's not as easy as it's being said. It's not like, oh, you just tell yourself one day, like, okay, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm not going to feel bad anymore. I'm not going to feel hurt. No, it takes the process. It's a process. You have to literally go through the process of constantly remind yourself every day. Because it took me a couple of months, you know, to actually get over being ghosted. To be honest, like, it took me a couple of months. Because every day I would think about it and I wonder and I'm trying to figure things out. And it's like, nobody loves me anymore. Or, you know, I feel like nobody cares. But the worst thing I was doing was now pushing away people who really did care because I felt bad that someone else didn't. That's the worst way to go about it. The best thing to do is, you know what? You left. Fine. It's okay. Life goes on. I still have people who stick around with me. I'm not now going to push them away and say, okay, because one bad egg left, then I will now what? My life stops? No. Your life does not stop. Your life gets better, you know? It's going to be way better if you get ghosted by someone 
And then the next time they see you, they're like, wow, I wish I never left this person, you know? Because it's going to be horrible if they see you and you're feeling rejected and you feel, you know, worthless and you're looking all dirty and haggard because someone left you. And then they see you, they're like, oh my God, thank God I, I, I left. Thank God I, I didn't stick around to see this. Like, oh, this looks pitiful. No, you don't want that to happen. You want a situation where the person sees you and you look better. You are the better version of you. You are... Like, it's as though the person even opened you up much more to your true self, which is so beautiful, you know? You're looking happier, you're looking much more confident. Why? Because you've decided to love yourself if no one else does. Because you have to first of all love yourself. That's just the honest truth. You have to first of all love yourself. You cannot emphasize it enough. You have to love yourself more than anyone else could possibly do. You cannot teach someone else how to love you when you don't first love yourself. So you have to love yourself. You have to develop a beautiful relationship, first of all, with yourself before you can now be able to relate well with other people. We all have to get to that point in our lives where we tell ourselves, you know what, like, whoever comes into my life, let them come. Whoever decides to stay, then let them stay. And then whoever decides to leave, whether there is a reason or explanation or not, then you let them. That's just how it is, you know? You cannot be fighting over somebody that does not even care about you or know your worth, okay? That's just it. If the person does not know your worth, the person will definitely want to leave. But if the person sees value in you, the person will never want to leave you no matter what. Honestly, trust me, no matter what, if the person sees worth or value in you, there's no way the person will leave you for anything. So those people who leave, those people who ghost you, they obviously don't see your worth. They obviously don't see how valuable you are. That's exactly why they leave. So you have to show everybody that, look, I'm worth something. I am worth more than anything you could possibly think of. I, I am valued, I value myself. So if you value yourself, you will never let anybody undervalue you. If you see yourself as someone who is worth everything this life could possibly give, then you will not allow anybody to just walk into your life and waltz in as if your, your life is some kind of motel room where they just lodge and then they, you know, leave the next day, you know? Don't let people do that to you. I know some of us have been ghosted before or probably have even ghosted some other people in the past or even right now, right? Because I, for one, I have been ghosted before and I think I might have accidentally ghosted. <laughs> I might have accidentally ghosted, you know, some people, but yeah, like, it's a very horrible situation. I've heard of situations wherein a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, just cuts off, ghosts the partner. And the other person's like, what's going on? Is he okay? Because first off, you might think, okay, is something wrong? Is the person fine? Is, is everything okay with the person? Because you're worried, you don't know what's going on, right? Until eventually, maybe with time, maybe a week or two or thereabout, you get to realize that, oh, this person actually just ghosted me, not because of anything, but yeah, the person just probably got tired and decided that rather than telling me and discussing about it and, you know, telling me, oh, I don't want to be friends with you anymore, you just cut off completely. Some of them even go ahead to change their numbers so you can't even reach them anymore. And it's, to me, it doesn't make any sense. If you're tired of your relationship, how about you tell the person, like, Dude, if it's your friend or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, whoever it is, you just tell the person simply like, look, I'm really tired of this relationship and I don't think I can go on with this. I don't think I can continue with this, you know? It's better, yes, it might still break the person's heart, especially when the person loves you a lot, but then it is better because the person has clarity. The person knows why, like, okay, this is why we're no longer together. This is what's going on between us, okay? We're no longer friends because he said he's tired, right? But then, bam, some people just, rather than discussing it, they just like, you know what, I'm done. They stop calling, they stop texting, and you are left to worry and wondering what's going on, and it's a very horrible thing. But the good thing is, there is always the best way to deal with it, okay? Like, because definitely you can never say, oh, you will try to avoid being ghosted now. And I'm just gonna clarify this, because the fact that you now maybe eventually find a way to heal, the fact that you've been able to heal after you've been ghosted before, doesn't necessarily make you immune to further ghosting, honestly. Because there will still be people who will leave, they will ghost you, they will, they will definitely walk out without warning, without any, like, thought of it, uh, without thinking of how you will feel about anything. But here's the difference. The only difference is that after you've healed the first time, if it does happen again, even though you feel hurt, 
you already know what to do you already know that okay you know what this person is gone okay it's their loss not mine it's not your loss it is theirs okay if they choose to leave they are missing out on a beautiful person on a beautiful soul if they choose to just let you go like that without even thinking a second as to how it will make you feel then it's their loss because you are valued you are worth much more than having someone undervalue you so you cannot just allow someone ride on you like that for any reason you should never allow the love you have for yourself be defined or determined by how other people treat you otherwise you just keep feeling bad by the time someone stops texting you, you feel like, oh, this person has stopped texting me. What do I do? This is happening. That's happening. No. You should never allow people to determine how you love yourself. You are the one who determines that. You are the one who tells yourself, you know what? I love myself enough. It should be enough. I am enough. I tell myself that sometimes. I tell myself, I say, you know what? You're enough. So even if they walk out on you, even if they decide to up and leave without warning whatsoever, you are enough to be happy. You are enough just by yourself. Even though, obviously, you can never fully be alone by yourself. There will always be people who will stick around. Trust me. It's just that sometimes we're focusing our energy, channeling it to the hurt and pain and to that one person who has abandoned us. When we could actually just turn the other way and see people who love us and are there with arms wide open to receive us, you know? And I'm just going to end by saying this, you know? Never you ever ever in this life you know undermine yourself never stop loving yourself never stop being good to yourself never stop valuing yourself never stop seeing yourself as worth more than you could possibly think of because no one else will see the worth in you if you first of all don't see it in yourself if you don't show them how to value you nobody else will so don't ever don't ever bully yourself don't ever undermine yourself don't ever feel worthless because in the end you are worthy and you are loved okay always remember that never forget always write it down everywhere and remember that you're worthy and loved i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope you will enjoy the consequent videos which will be in this new series we've just started so that's totally it for today and if you've ever been ghosted before i would also like to hear about your story and how you dealt with it in the end thank you so much for watching as always ciao